Praise the Lord. <laughs> Every day we decided, because of this time of day, to wait on the Lord till this time of day, especially in the light, when it filters so perfectly through the trees, when it comes down through the leaves and everything else that seems to be about all of these, when God seems to send just the gentlest of breeze in order to inspire us with His Word, knowing that the light at a certain time of day is like that, it's so wonderful to know that we can wait on the Lord. That we can pause and be still. That we could take time. That we could make time. That we could listen. And today if we hear His voice, choose not to harden our hearts but to observe and to look and to see those things around us that God is doing Jesus used a word so appropriate for this time of day behold have you ever thought of that word behold you know not just look not just see but behold it's like to be alive and to hold life in you inside you behold there's some Hebrew words that are like ra'a that say behold consider and see it involves the involvement of body soul and spirit and I think about all these times now in the morning when most people will rush out through their day how it used to be there would be one day we would rest and be still you know what used to be called the Sabbath that we no longer do or choose to be we say we have entered into his rest ceasing from our work so the Sabbath is fulfilled in that with which it was meant to be but there's also a reality of every moment of the day having a peace having a light having a joy walking in the spirit teaches us to look for the light to walk in the light as he is in the light to be children of the light did you know you are a child of light in him was the light of the world and there was no darkness and we beheld him as one of the only begotten the Son of God ah oh, such light when the plants that I grow here in my garden know that the sunlight begins to shine upon them they turn as it were to it and they follow it and track it wherever it goes that's what we are as children of the light we turn our faces to the Son of God and our countenance is lit up as it were bright shining like the sun light that shines upon the moon and reflects itself to the earth below when you look at the moon it has no light of itself but rather it reflects the glory of the Sun as it shines upon it from so far away so too we as children of the light have no light of our own but rather we reflect the glory of the image of the Son of God who's been placed in us <coughs> we burn brightly in the night especially when everything is wrong and not right for we lift up our eyes and we behold the Son of God seated at the right hand of the Father when we do that <laughs> when we pause when we see when we behold the Lamb of God when we watch the light of the world come upon us then we begin to feel we begin to 
No. We begin to realize the Son of God living in us. And we begin to stop what we're doing. Wait for the Lord. Listen to His voice. God is in heaven and thou upon earth. Therefore let thy words be few. When you pray, use not vain repetitions as the heathen do, for they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. Be not ye like therefore likened unto them. For your Father knows what things you have need of even before you ask. Let your words be few. They called on the name of Baal from morning even until noon, saying, O oh God, Baal, hear us. Two men went up into the temple to pray, one a Pharisee, the other a publican. The Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself, saying, God, I thank you that I am not as other men are. I am not an extortioner. I am not unjust. I'm not an adulterer, or even as this publican, I am a good man. And the publican standing far off would not lift up his head so much as to cast his eyes into heaven, but smote upon his chest, saying, God, be merciful unto me, a sinner. And his words were few and silence followed. I tell you, Jesus said, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other. Lord, teach us to pray. Silence sitting in a moment of time of visitation when God comes upon the world and walks throughout his kingdom of creation that he's made by his own hands is a time where we be still and we let the Spirit of God fill us not with the songs and dancing and shouting and joy but with the peace the love and the joy there is a time for worship there is a time for praise but there's a time to be still when God himself has said listen Listen. Listen. I speak in a still small voice. Can you hear the turtle dove? Do you feel the wind upon your breast as the breeze blows through the trees? Listen. Listen. You hear your heartbeat and mine. Listen. 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 God bless you.